You can define your own custom exception type in Python by inheriting from a built-in exception class and modifying it as needed. You can also raise your custom exception in your program. It is good practice to end the name of your custom exception with error, such as divide by error, if you created a, a divide by error custom exception type. Let's take a look at an example of using custom exceptions in Python. So in this code, we have the same example again, where we try to get a user's age and throw an exception if an invalid age was entered, meaning it was not an integer. But we also created our own custom exception type called invalid age error. And this is how you create your own exception type. You just create a class called invalid age error or whatever you want to name it and you pass in exception. And this will inherit everything from this exception class and provide any additional like new things you want to add to it. And what we're doing here is creating the constructor for this exception. And this is how we can use it. Once we get the age from the person, we can raise the exception. So if age is less than zero, or age is greater than or equal to 120, we could raise our own exception type invalid age error and pass in this custom message it says sorry that age does not seem valid or whatever you want it to say okay let's run this program again if I'm five years old, the program works fine. If I'm FIVE, invalid integer was entered. But if we enter a, a negative nine as the age, it's still going to this accept block because it didn't, we don't have an accept block that's made for the invalid age error. So this one was the value error, I believe. And we should have our own accept block for the invalid age error as, let's give it a name, IAE for invalid age error. And we'll print IAE, we'll print this, we'll just get the message that was raised. So now let's try this. And if you are negative nine years old, sorry that age doesn't, oops, doesn't wrong. By the way, if you're trying to have an apostrophe T in there, you can't do it because you have apostrophes outside of the string. You could just escape it with backslash, and that'll work, or just change these outside quotes to double quotes. So here we go again, let's say you're 134. Sorry that age doesn't seem valid. So we threw our own custom exception type manually by erasing it, and then it went to the proper accept block, and we're able to print that message to the screen. So that's how to create your own custom exception and and how to raise that exception as well. Thanks for watching.